Hello YouTube, it's my bad here. Coming in with a beer review. This is gonna be something a little bit different. I'm gonna do this every once in a while. I hope y'all enjoy it. What we got here is a North Fork Brewing Company Black Oak Stout. North Fork is a town and a lake in North Central Arkansas. It would be to the east of Mountain Home. I uh, had family that's lived up there, and I've got friends that's lived up there. I've done a couple roofs up there. Never seen this brewery in my life. But I saw these in the liquor store down in Little Rock the other day while I was picking up a couple of six packs for this weekend for me to sit back and enjoy at night on my back porch. But I figured we could do a little bit of taste testing. So these are stouts, and I got two of them for a reason. And I've got a glass for a reason. It's not a stout glass, it'll have to do. I understand. This one's been sitting in the fridge for a day, and this one's room temperature. You're supposed to drink stouts at room temperature, according to some people. I think over in the UK, my buddy, the angry Dracolope, probably tell you more about it than I can, because I've only been to Ireland, and every beer I've gotten there was freaking cold. And I asked for it cold in Germany. And it was good like that. I have had stouts that were room temperature. Some of them I prefer it like that. Say like a uh, Prairie Arts Snell's uh, Pirate Bomb. And they got a Prairie Arts Snell's Prairie Bomb. But the Pirate Bomb's got a little bit more kick and a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper on the aftertaste. So in this beer review, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack both these bad boys open. I'm gonna take a sip out of both of them within the can, tell you what I think. Then I'm gonna go from the can with that, both these bad boys one time into the glass and tell you what I think. Let's get to it. Mm. Still got some oil smell on my hand from when I was cleaning the knives earlier. By the way, I'm not driving anywhere tonight. I know it's only uh, 450. Just chill out on uh, the five o'clock somewhere tags, all right? Smell a little bit of alcohol in it. This says it's 6% alcohol. Give her a little taste. It's got tons of coffee. I ain't bad at all. Kinda like that in my stouts. Says on the back, hello friend, we're a proud car sales makers of nature's beer. Our ingredients are born and raised locally. Some are harvested from the wild. We believe this makes for an authentic and tasty brew. Our location is in the historic town of North Fork, Arkansas. It is in North Fork. I have done a roof there for catfish. Which sites the confluence of the North Fork and the White Rivers and the edge of the waters of the Ozark National Forks nature beer from the natural state? Enjoy responsible, please recycle. I will be recycling these, sir. They will be going into the can and getting sold for, for scrap. Yeah, about the only thing I can tell you, it's got cones of coffee, got a little bit of alcohol in it. It's a beer. Let's pop ski open the room tent. Ooh, that's one thing I do like about stouts is when you pop them, it got a little bit of that smoke aroma coming out. It's kind of cool, especially as nacho stouts. Nacho stouts are awesome. May do a beer review on one of those tomorrow. I keep on using this right hand and got oil on it. I can't smell nothing, but oil. The smell is actually not as strong in the room temperature as it was for the one that was in the fridge. Let's go ahead and give it a little tasty. Smell wasn't as strong, but the taste at the beginning, yeah, I felt a lot of carbonation. Carbonation and stouts usually don't go together too much, unless it's a nitro stout. This one may have a little bit of that in it, I don't know. I don't think it had any of those nitro tablets in it though. Let's go ahead and go to the glass. Hmm. 
I'm not going to pour the whole beer in the glass. I just want to see what kind of head. Stout ain't supposed to get a head. That one had a little bit of fizz at the top when I poured it in the top. But stout's supposed to stay strong and bold. No head. Once again, smelling oil. I need to quit doing that. I'm just a right handy, I can't help it. You smell the oats in it when you put it in the glass. Definitely smell more coffee. If I was to score this, out of all the stouts that I've had, and I'd probably get that 6 out of 10. It's not horrible. It's not great. It's very drinkable. It's even enjoyable. Yeah, that's about 6 out of 10. It did come in a can, too. But that's an Arkansas way. I'm very drinkable, though. Especially cold. Let's give it a room temperature shot. A lot more fizz and head on the room temperature one. Once again, stouts ain't supposed to have a lot of head, but that is what it is. Hmm. It's mostly getting alcohol smell in the uh, room temperature one. I'm not smelling the oats as much as I was in the uh, chilled one. I'm not a beer sommelier. I'm not even a beer connoisseur, if you will. I like to drink beer, but I wouldn't be able to tell you Fruity Tones or any of that other stuff. I'm just telling you what I, as a novice, see in this. As a room temperature beer, that's actually not too bad. It goes down pretty smooth. There is that fizzy part at the beginning where it hits you with all that carbonation. And I'm not positive there's supposed to be that much carbonation in this beer. Maybe for North Fork Brewery, that's the way that they wanted to brew it. But I know that most of the stouts that I have drank do not have that carbonation. And especially the heavier ones, which is the ones that I enjoy most. And I also understand it's in the middle of freaking summer in Arkansas, and it's hotter than Dickens, if you will. And this is a wintertime beer. And this is my main beer in winter. But I miss stouts really, really bad. I was tired of drinking IPAs, and I figured let's go for it. The hot one. I'll probably get about a 5.5 five out of 10. I think chilling it just slightly raises the drinkability of the beer. It's not bad. I'm not a hater of it. I will enjoy the whole six pack. Maybe not all tonight, but throughout the weekish. And this is the first time that I've even had a sip since I've been off the boat. Might have a few more tonight. Anyways, YouTube. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the next video. This was improvised heavily. I promise you I will be making cookies tonight.